Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm here with Emily. I'm filming like so weird. I'm like, um, we have not filmed. So today's video, we are going to be doing what's like going around on the internet, like crazy at the moment. The reading assumptions about me. Is that how you say? Yes. Video. So basically, I asked you guys on Instagram. Um, I'll link it up above. If you aren't following me, then you like totally should. But like, anyways. So basically, I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions. Um, no, make assumptions about me. Oh my god, my brain's all over the place. I asked you guys to make assumptions about me on my Instagram, but I thought I don't want to just do a kind of do a sit down boring video. So today I brought Emily along and she's going to be answering assumptions about me and then I'm going to be answering them, if that makes sense. So basically, we'll be in separate rooms. So one by one, we'll answer the questions. So she'll be in here filming by herself and then I'll be outside listening to music, not listening to her. And then I'll answer the assumptions about myself. So you can kind of see like a comparison between two people's perspectives because I feel like when it's yourself, you just kind of like, no, like you're really in denial and it's not yeah, it's actually like the truth. Exactly. So she is going to be basically be exposed. Yeah, you're going to be basically exposing me. So yeah, I thought this might be a fun twist of the video. Keep it a bit more exciting. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. And do you want to go first? I feel like you should. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah. She's going to go first. So you will. Let's just get into answering assumptions about me. I don't want to die. Goodbye. You are one. So rude. First one. You're, you're really friendly and outgoing and get along well with everyone. Well, I wouldn't exactly say. She's very outgoing. She is very outgoing. I'll give you that. But like in a good way, not in a bad way, because I know that can be like good and bad, but I I definitely wouldn't say gets along with everyone. Like I can hear you. Well, it's the truth. You said you wouldn't listen to me. The first assumption is you're really outgoing and friendly and get along with everyone well. Um I would like, I think, I definitely am outgoing. I'm definitely more outgoing than not outgoing. Um, I'm definitely not shy. I would like to say I'm friendly, but I can't really, like, that's not really something I can say about myself. I don't know how other people see me. Um, but, yeah, I don't say, I wouldn't say I 100% get along with everyone well. I'm very, like, strong opinionated. And, and some people, a lot of people just don't get my humor. I've got very, um, sarcastic, kind of, not dark humor, but, like, I'm very sarcastic. And some people can take that as being mean, but in the end of the day, my true friends get my humor and like get who I am and like that's all that really matters. So yeah. Okay, next one. You hate makeup. Mm, I don't think so. Well, no. I just don't think she's as into makeup as she used to be because like when she first started YouTube, it was going to be like a makeup YouTube account, but now it's like she doesn't like filming makeup videos, but I don't think that means that she hates makeup because she always wears it. Um, you hate makeup? Absolutely not. I love makeup, like, so much. I'm just not as obsessed with it as I used to be, um, because I used to be, like, hardcore obsessed. Um, I have about four drawers full of makeup. I just hardly ever use it because I just, I don't know, I've kind of strayed from that a bit. You wish you had a lot more subs. Well, I feel like everyone that does YouTube would want subscribers so I mean yeah I guess she wants more subscribers but like I don't think that's like what she really cares about because she never really complains about only having like 150 or whatever she has like that's never been a major thing for her so I guess yeah she does but like that's not all she cares about um, you wish you had a lot more subscribers. Um, I think anyone who's a YouTuber wishes they had a lot more subscribers. Um, you never really, like, to me, the subscribers obviously don't matter that much. Like, I have almost 200 and honestly hitting 150, like, hitting 100 subscribers, I was so over the joy, like, overly happy. And, like, I think for me, every little number counts and every single subscriber matters so much, like... I think every time someone subscribes, I'm literally like, oh my god, like, someone just clicked subscribe, like, that means so much. And I mean, no, like, you go into it, and obviously every YouTuber dreams of being, like, super famous and, like, having millions of subscribers. But, so, yeah, I do wish I had a lot more subscribers, but it's not because I only care about the numbers, it's because that's just, like, the goal, you know? Uh, 
you go to a private all girls school? Nope. Um, you go to a private all girls school. Yes, I do go to a private Christian school, but it is co-ed. I could not do all girl. Oh my gosh, the like cat fights, I just couldn't do it. You're not excited to go back to school? No. I mean, who is? <laughs> Let's be real. Um, you're not excited to go back to school? Um, absolutely not. I cannot say I'm excited to go back to school at all, so you were dead on with that. You live in Sydney, yes. Um, you live in Sydney, yes. You'll be doing back to school videos, yes. Um, you'll be doing back to school videos. Yes, I just filmed one yesterday, which should be going up either before or after this video. And I should be filming like a couple. You're organized and always have a clean. I hate to interrupt, but they have Gosman and Gomez on delivery. I told you. Can I please order it? Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm a burrito though. Oh, my max. Oh. oh Gosman burritos are actually good though. Now I forgot where I was up to. Oh. You're organized and always have a clean room. Uh, I'd say so. I wouldn't... Mm, I'd say, like, yeah, always a clean room. Depend... Mm, organized? Most of the time, I'd say. Well, it depends. If you're speaking about, like, being, like, having an organized room, then yes. But organized mentally, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, you're organized and always have a clean room. Um, I'd like to say yes. I make my bed usually for my videos, but my room is like, I, some of my friends' rooms you walk into and I'm like, I can't even deal with this. But I think it has a lot to do with my mom. She's like one, like, t-shirts on the floor and she's like, Rah! and also we live in like kind of a small, I have a small ro smaller room in a smaller house. So it's kind of like, I don't have the room to be messy, if that makes sense. So I would say yes. <laughs> You're rich. I don't know. I don't... I guess it's like in the area that we live in, like you kind of have to be... You kind of have to have a bit of money, I guess. I don't know. I feel like that's not something that I should be answering. Um, you're rich? Ha, <laughs> no. Um, it's kind of, It's hard because it's like... I live in such a rich place in the world, like Sydney is one of the most rich places in the world to live and Australia is one of the richest places in the world. So if you compared me to like the whole world, then I'm not bad off and I've always been really lucky. I've always had a roof over my head, but for where I live, no, because it is so expensive to live where I live. Um, so it just kind of depends. Like I would never say I'm rich and I would never say I'm poor. I've always been really fortunate to have a roof over my head. Um, in terms of money, I've always been pretty fortunate, but for where I live, no, <laughs> that's a definite no. Has a lot of friends, popular. <sighs> Liv's a very complicated one, I guess. I feel like, yeah, she has, yeah, she has like, I guess she has a lot of different friends, but I wouldn't say like, we don't have like a massive group or anything. And as for like popular, I wouldn't say she's not, po I wouldn't say she's like unpopular, but I wouldn't say it's like, like everyone knows who she is. Like I wouldn't like, not in the popular group if that's what you like, you're trying to ask like, but like she's still friends with like people that are in the popular group, if that makes sense. Um, and the last one is has a lot of friends like in brackets popular uh, No, um, I think when I was younger I used to kind of be like I just want to be popular um, And that kind of strayed me away from like some true friends and then I started trying to get into the popular group and it was a mess And so one day I was like screw this so now I don't have that many friends and I would definitely not say I'm popular but I'm honestly really happy and I wouldn't even want to be in the popular group. I just like how I am. So yeah, I think that is the rest of them. I'm gonna call Emily in. Emily! Come, end the video! We 
should have ordered the burritos before this. <laughs> this is literally all we care about is food. I think every time we've walked in here, it's just been talking about food. Can you move? You fat. I'm so pretty nice. <laughs> okay, so we. Oh, are you okay? Okay, we just finished filming both of our sections. Um, basically, I have no idea what she said, and she has no idea what I said. So when I've edited this and watched it through, it's actually going to be really interesting. I'm keen to edit it. I'm going to be like, I can't believe you said that. But I'm anyway, sorry. I hope she didn't expose me too much. Um, but yeah, that, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did and you liked our little twist on it, and you want to see Emily back, give it a big thumbs up. So I need to do more videos with this mongrel. And yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it means so much to me. And yeah, I love you all and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Every You're so gentle. You're like...